Um, I don't really have a particular memory that's tied into a song. I'll have to come back to that one. Um, you know what? Eighth grade dance. Snow Informer came on. Awesome. <laughs> that just popped out. I don't know why, but that's like the most happiest memory because I think that's like the first time I got some solid action. I can remember my dad used to come up the stairs. I'd be, you know, nine, ten years old and me and my sister would be sleeping and all of a sudden you'd hear him stomping up the stairs. He'd start going, today is chore day, today is chore day. My mom used to try to teach us how to like do all like the merengue and the salsa dancing. One of the first tapes she bought me was Gloria Estefan, my Henry Sound Machine, and she would turn this on. One, two, three, four, come on baby, say you love me. <laughs> and it was like you just wanted to strangle yourself. But as soon as the chore day song was over, on would come the Dire Straits or Doors or the Beatles. I loved the music, but I hated what it was going to bring to me. Every single time I hear that Gloria Estefan song, that's, I think of my mom and us dancing in that tiny little kitchen in Brooklyn. <laughs> Cat Stevens, a song of his called Peace Train. The first time I heard this song, I, I was studying abroad in France during college, and you know, you, you're, you're alone, you're away from your friends and your family, and... and then over the summer, I started listening to country after my little brother had passed away, because that was what he was really into, and kind of let me see more into his life. Music really became a solace, uh, and that's a, it's a special feeling.